Hello, welcome back and in today's fourth episode in this tutorial we're going to show you how to randomly spawn these little gas guns here. Now these gas guns need the location to spawn from so the first thing we need to do is jump right in and add a cube. This cube here, uh, we let's move it up a bit. This is going to be the location from where the gas cans are going to spawn so I'm going to align it with the road. Let's make a new script using logic nodes and uh, create uh, the script call it a um, spawn I guess and we're gonna go to the scripting tab and select the spawn script from here we can add an on event timer uh, no <laughs> looking for an on update actually there we go once we have our on update we need to merge it with an event so we look for the merge node node create a new, set it to once per frame and create a new input system create another one as well and let's grab the on event node that's not the right one on event here we go and plug it into the second input ah. this event we are going to call it restart and we are going to need a timer right here. We're going to plug the timer into the merge and finally, but well not finally, but at last we're going to actually add a spawn object. Spawn object. Once the timer is done we want to spawn the object. The object in question is going to be the gas can. So we're going to select the jerry can here, the gas can. Now we need an area to spawn this from. So that location is going to be the object transform of the cube that we just made as a spawner so select the cube and we need to add the event so we can go to the on event send global event and this has to be the same event as the first one which is the restart event make sure there are no spelling mistakes uh, they have to be the same if not they won't work obviously because it won't respond them uh, read them as the same now remember to set this repeat value to 1 and we can finally do the last step which is actually concentrate on the randomized um, numbers so we can add a random float plug into the duration you can mess around with these values but I believe that 2 to 2000 is a good number for me and there we go once we set all that up as you can see it's actually selecting the jerry can object and this object has a script applied to it called gas and if you remember the previous tutorial this script has a basic function of moving forward and removing itself when it hits the car so that means that every time we have an object that spawns the gas script will automatically be applied to it which is great and we're obviously spawning it from the location of the cube so with that in mind let's run the script and usually it should work fine if it works then we should have objects spawning on the right hand side only uh, so give it a few seconds because I did give it a 2000 interval period and there we go the first jerry can to arrive now these jerry cans are going to have a long interval period but uh, can as you can see there be very short or very long so you know it's completely random which is great it works a lot for me but if you want yours to have a much shorter interval then you can obviously change the values the random values to be something much smaller than 2 to 2000 but yeah that's it this is how to do it but we have no objects being spawned on this side and we're going to fix that right away so let's exit out and what we're going to do is select everything shift D duplicate it I'm going to remove the cube 2 and we're going to select cube 3 that we just made. All I did was press this cube and shift D to duplicate so don't worry about that. And we can just select it. I just positioned it on the uh, left hand side. And now you can just clean it and run this game again and we should have cubes spawning on left and right and front and back. No not literally but yeah left and right. So we should have cubes in every direction select these two basic ones and as you can see if you give it a second we have the first arrivals on both the left and the right side which is great which is really beginning to be an actual game now 
So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, as always, I'll leave the project file linked in the description below uh, for my Google Drive file. I've done one for every single episode, so you know you can go fetch that if you have a problem trying to do what I did in this tutorial, or if you just want to not do this and just want to copy the code. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, I, I do that all the time. Don't feel ashamed. <laughs> so, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.